All right, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of RL Craft. Since we last left off, I was supposed to get a haircut. Unfortunately, my barber got sick. So it's beanie time now. Anyway, really, though, since we last left off, I did a bunch of grinding for experience because I wanted to start off this episode with with some meaningful progress. I wanted to be level 16 in mining and attack so we can use diamond pickaxes and diamond weapons. As you can see by my used iron spear, I haven't done that yet for attack. Oh, but don't worry. I can. We're at level 15 in attack and I have 20 levels so we can just... Top this off. The final step, I wanted to do it at the beginning of the episode, and also, as you can see by my slightly used diamond pickaxe, we did get to it in mining, and I've been using that for some mining in between episodes. Let me try to recap some of the things that I did. I did a bit of breaking crops in order to get experience, did a bit of trading with villagers. The biggest thing I did to get experience is I did hit up that battle tower that we saw from that high vantage point at the Lost Cities structure. I didn't go full into it. I mostly just farmed the top two floors, broke the spawners on the top, and then farmed the mobs that were spawning under it and that was able to get me a good amount of experience so we could keep leveling up get mining up to level 16 and then once mining was up to level 16 i was able to do some strip mining get some resources get some more experience from breaking the ores and then i was able to get myself up to here which is level 16 in both mining and attack, which is very, very exciting because it kind of puts us on a whole other level. In between, while I was doing all that experience grinding, I did do a little bit of crafting and enchanting. I noticed when I put a weapon into the enchantment table, I was seeing Education 2 as the preview enchant. Now in that video that I keep referencing over and over, he did say Education 3 is like one of the best things that you can get. So I was like, okay, well Education 2's gotta be like pretty decent then. So I prematurely made a diamond spear even though I couldn't use it yet. Got our first legendary craft, by the way, which was just freaking huge. And then enchanted it so I could get Education 2 and have it locked in before it cycled from enchanting something else. After that, I did make a diamond pickaxe, enchanted that, got myself Unbreaking 3 Efficiency 4, and then I used the two fortune books that we got last time from the library structures in order to put together Fortune 3, put it on the pickaxe, and I used that for a lot of the strip mining that I was doing. And so, I was able to get quite a few diamonds. Look at this, look at this. Got ourselves 34 diamonds, come on! That'll allow us to like make some spare parts of armor so we can check some enchants, possibly combine newly enchanted gear with our current gear so we can get some additional things, which is pretty exciting. I also learned fortune does not work on, on heart crystal ore, which is very sad, but I do have enough to make another heart right now which is very exciting. The more of these we can get, the better. I mean, these are like the key to success here in RL craft. And I feel like when I played with Zine, we either like, they maybe weren't as much of a thing or we weren't utilizing them properly because I don't remember having like massive amounts of hearts, but we probably should have. So, yo, 15 hearts, come on, dude. It's kind of like Vault Hunters in RL craft in that like when you load up the world, each time you like quit and come back, it kind of removes some of the bonus hearts that you have and then you have to like regen them back for whatever reason. I don't know, that seems to be a Minecraft thing as a whole. Also, is it, it's wintry, I can see my breath. Just from like super duper hot and me melting to now I'm gonna be freezing, RL Craft, it's just the gift that keeps on giving, isn't it? Yo, was I smelting some stuff? Can't remember. I was. I can get a little. Oh, yeah, three levels. Oh, there we go. Almost up to level 15. Give me all that iron. There were a few more things that I did as well, just kind of quality of life stuff. I'm really worried about the eruption event, should that ever happen. So I decided to put some slabs kind of shoddily on top of our roof here to give a little bit of extra protection in the event of eruption happening. Speaking of events, while I was in the mine at one point between episodes, there was an event called Poop Party that triggered. Yes, poop, poop party. Unfortunately, by the time I, I ran up above ground, it was it was very sad that there, there were no monkeys to be seen to throw poop at me. And I was like, I wanted to experience poop party. And this, this is disappointing. Also made a nice staircase down into the mine, which is just, oh, it's so helpful. I can just run down and up, which is super great. I also saw some of the comments on the last episode that were telling me about a, a secret chest inside of the library structure in the village. So I hit that one up in here. I also hit it up in the desert. So there's this button here behind the counter. I can't believe I didn't see that and open this up, which really didn't have anything that good. Fire aspect two, error recovery. I just don't like putting fire aspect on my own weapons because I end up just lighting myself on fire when the mobs I hit hit me back. And I'm like, oh, that's 
Great, it's not going well. Also, did you know that Aurasaurs, they like carrots. I was like, oh, hi, Mr. Enderman. You're looking creepy today. I was I was like breaking crops to get levels and I break the carrots. I'm like, what the frick is happening, dinosaurs? Leave me alone. What the heck's going on? And then I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, they, oh, they want a munchy crunch and make some babies. There you go. Come on. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's get a, a baby. Yeah. Oh, you're so cute. Listen, I'm so sorry about what happened in the last episode. I would never do that here to you guys. You guys are are my village orosaurs, including the baby orosaur, and you're so cute, and I would never, ever do a thing like the thing that you didn't see me do and that I won't go into any more detail about. They're like, what is she talking about? What did, what did you do between episodes? Also, did you know in this building right here, there was just like 30 wolves sitting in that chest, which is really cool for the sake of getting strings, so I just thought I'd call that out. And then finally, I know there's a lot of, hi man, hey, speaking of ages, because that's what I was about to talk about, we can summon one now. I did enough clicking with the soul gazer in between episodes, I tried to do it each time it was off cooldown, to where now, watch, we have the ages that's summonable, and so, I should be able to come out here, and then we can just summon an Aegis, right? Yeah, there we go, Captain Sparkles, Aegis, come on, dude! Now, if we can do the same with a Jangu, or many, many Jangus that I click on with the Soul Gazer to learn more about it, or kill a bunch, then I'll be able to summon an Aegis and a Jangu and get a Nymph that, like, merge together, which I vaguely remember from playing with Zine. So, all in all, very, very exciting times for us. Wow, okay, that was a long recap. Hopefully, with the help of B-Roll, I didn't completely bore you to death, and you're still here. Let's do something new, shall we? I want to see how this diamond spear is going to play out for us because I'm excited about this thing. Okay, I want to put it to use at that structure we found at the end of the last episode. But actually, before I do that, I would just like to quickly see what our armor is rolling right now if we put that all into the enchantment table. Prot 3 is just Prot 3 all the way down. Magic Protection 2 and protection three. Okay, none of them are particularly tempting, especially because we have prop four on everything except for the chest plate. Let's go, uh, let's go check out that new structure. Oh yeah, it's, it's winter. I never know if some comments are too spoilery or not, but I, I saw some mixed feedback about the Omega Battle Tower. Some people are like, oh, you should give it a try. It has really, really great loot. And other people are like, Bro, it's it's got a blight golem guaranteed as the boss, and there are like vex spawners inside the walls, and you're gonna have a really bad time, and so probably just just don't do that. It, stay away. It's it's gonna not be fun. So yeah, I don't. I'm probably just not gonna do it right now. But this one maybe has a uh, more distributed spawners throughout the place. I just kind of want to check it out. I hear pillagers, which. Is not oh yeah, no, that's that's some uh that's some pillagey boyos. Okay. So only a little bit scary. Yeah, just just slightly, given how hard they hit. Uh okay, we got a spawner. Let me just break these really quick. I don't even know what kind they are. Oh, we break things so fast though, dude. Efficiency four on the diamond pickaxe. You gotta love that, dude. You gotta love that. They can't even spawn. That's too bright out here. We getting levels, dude. Okay. I wanna see A. Just how good this is on the whole. I just want to like open up some stuff out here so I don't get caught on something if I need to retreat. I want to see just, you know, how good this thing is at fighting, but also I want to see how Education 3 fares in terms of getting levels of experience. Okay. Okay. We got a hook! Come at me! 20 damage on the mans! No, no, no. No! We're two hitting these boys. We got the wither. Come on. Come on. Come at me, dude. Come at me. At least with the vindicators. We don't have to worry too much about any... Oh, God. About ranged attacks or anything like that. So, I mean, that's... Oh, frick. That's a, that's a ranged boy, although... You gotta... Oh, frickin' fence. Okay, I gotta break this. I gotta break this. Am I breaking I'm breaking it. I'm breaking it. Yo! This is Omega Place. This is Omega Place. Come on, dude. Is that a Wither Skeleton Skull? Yo. That's massive. That's massive. I don't know. Uh, I should get the arrows because we don't have infinity, so that could be good. I feel like our inventory is going to fill up super duper quick. You know what? I bet you I've been too scared to try to break the waist down uh, up until now I've gotten the diamond pickaxe. And I feel like maybe now that I have the diamond pickaxe, can I break the waist stones? And then maybe what I could do is because I think my inventory is gonna fill up like crazy here. Batter up! I could take the one from, oh god, that's a, it's a, oh, frick balls! Yikes! 
Yikes! Oh, we're good. We're good. Everything's fine. Ow, I'm freaking withered by that dude, though. Wither skeletons everywhere, and the first thing to wither me is a Vindicator. Ow, frick. Oh my god, we're at level 24, though. It's freaking Omega. But that's what I'm thinking. I could just set up a waystone, like, right here. And then I could just combat log if I get into any trouble. That'd be pretty great, right? Hey, we got any more mans? Oh, give me those levels. Give me those levels. Come on! Okay, I just have to be a little scared of the Blight boys. Because a Blight Vindicator, especially that one that was, like, yanking me back into range, is kind of terrifying. Wait. Am I, like... Hold on. Am I chilling them just by having the chest plate in my inventory? It almost seems like they're slowing down when I'm... Maybe they're just running through a, a web inside. I'm at level 27 already! Oh my god, dude! This is popping off! This is insane! I could hit up the battle tower again as well, but I just didn't want to be too redundant. We've done a lot of battle tower stuff, obviously, between, you know, the last few episodes, just constantly going back to the same battle tower over and over again. So I'm like, I just want to do something different here so you guys don't get completely bored. So that's why I figured we'd hit this one up. Also, though, if I'm able to just farm this thing for levels, though, I really, having a, a quick and easy way back home would be... So good. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Let's freaking go emeralds, too, for days. I mean, only seven, actually, so far. This spear is so big. Oh my god, it's an absolute unit. Wait, okay, I was gonna try to eat, but then man's coming at me with enchanted axes. I gotta... Eyes up. Eyes up. Ooh, sick bandages. We like those bandages. Still wish I could make them, but we need the... Uh, agave, or the, the aloe. Okay, we're almost at level 30. Oh, come on, boys. Come on. Oh, it's a Blight Boy. It's a Blight Boy. We gotta be careful. I always call them Infernal, but it seems like most people call them Blight! Jiminy Christmas. he's an invisible Fire Boy man! Ah, uh, that's not good. Thank you, Nymph. Oh, boy. Okay, well. I, I can see when maybe it's... it's <laughs> It's time to take a warning as uh, a little bit of retreat time. Freaking invisible, fiery mans. Wait, is he dead? Did I get him? Oh, I think I actually got him. <laughs> we good, unless he like retreated back in. At least, bro, I can two-shot everybody else. It's so big. Let me get that axe really quick. Oh, it's another blight mans. Okay, level 31. The freaking heck was that? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the desert. And I'm gonna see if I can hijack that waystone. Right, so let's head to the desert. And then, of course, I'll probably still get hyperthermia when I'm in the desert, even though it's winter. There's just, there's no relief anywhere. And that's, um, this doesn't seem to be working. Could we break waystones back when I played with Zine? Has this been changed or was it like this that I'm just not remembering? Because this, I can tell you from first-hand experience with some other series with Waystone, you can you can break them pretty pretty quick and easily, actually. This uh right. Okay. Um right. Okay. So yeah, I mean, um, hmm. Can't say I'm surprised, because they're pretty expensive to make. And uh the warp stone is I don't know, things I what the frick is any of this stuff? Um Probably, they're all like mob drops or something, and I don't even, other than the runes, I know what those are. Let me dump things and then we'll go back. While we're here with over 30 levels, I might as well check the enchantment table, see if there's anything tempting. Got knockback two, not super tempting. Chestplate still showing prop three, makes sense. I only settle for prop four, well, so I don't settle. How about a bow? Unbreaking three. I mean, that could be something, actually. I was watching another video by the same guy with the videos that I'm always referencing, and he was like, Unbreaking 3 slash Mending are some of the best enchantments that you can get. Maybe if I do it on a diamond bow, even though I'm not high enough level in agility to use it, I can do the same thing I did with the diamond spear, where I just, like, made it prematurely, and then once I'm leveled up, I'll be able to do it. Although I might actually be able to use the remaining 28 levels in order to do the whole thing, so it might be possible. I don't know why I got the bones. How do I make the diamond bow again? Let's do it. Let's do it. Or do we want diamond crossbow? I'm gonna do diamond bow. I'm gonna do diamond bow for now. And see, I need level 12 in agility, but it should, it should pull 
the same Unbreaking 3, I believe, because that's what I was seeing with other stuff. Yes, so it still pulls Unbreaking 3. Let's just, let's just see. Watch it just be Unbreaking 3, and I'm gonna be like, God dang it, this sucks. At least it probably does more damage. This is my life. This is my life. You, you frick. You absolute buffoon, my god, that's what I need. Oh, I need this now. <gasps> oh, come on, okay, okay, okay. We're not gonna be, we're not gonna be, oh, oh, we can make more diamond bows, but that's, oh, vampirism. Oh, come on, boys, we were on a mission now. Man, I'm just thinking what I know is gonna happen is that when I enchant the thing with vampirism, it's gonna end up having like Bane of Arthropods or just, just something on there that makes it not that great. Oh God, where, where's the spawner? Is it inside the freaking? is it in there? Is it behind that? Is it covered up? Where the frick is it? He just came out of the floor. I don't, oh, it's right there. Oh my God, so the spawners are, they're hidden in here. Oh boy, that's gnarly. Was that the only one that's in here though? I mean, this room specifically, obviously there are way more spawners inside of this place. What is that in the emerald block? Okay, huge, huge maneuvers. I gotta be really careful, dude. I gotta be hugely careful. Let me check the rest of this kind of entry area and see if there are any more spawners in here. Also, let's use the those torches instead. Oh, let's get that man's. All right, one of them's locked. That's okay, what do we have? Eh, nothing super duper, and I feel like judging by the loot in that one, it's not gonna be worth picking the lock in the other. So, it's all good. Bro, we're level 30 again already, come on! Education, education is so good. Everybody, value your education. Don't be like me, the guy who dropped out. Look at how good it is to have an education. Uh, you know what, let's bring the Aegis in. Wait, 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 actually I don't wanna do that because I wanna, uh, I wanna set the Aegis on aggressive. And then, ooh, dude, that's rough when you go into the... Frick! It already spawned him! God dang it, I don't know where they went. I thought it canceled by uh, switching off to another thing. Hey, buddies! If you go down, can I reach? I should be able to with a spear. Oh, oh, come on, dude. Come on, bit of lag. I just need to be careful that, like, nothing, uh... Nothing is on my six. Give me those levels, boy. Give me those freaking. Oh, mother of truck! The frick is that, dude? The frick is that, man's? I'm gonna go. Okay, going outside. Going outside. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I, I want an open area to be able to fight whatever the frick that thing was. It was like a supercharged Reaper. <gasps> the frick! He's there. He's there. I can't see. I can't see. I got him. You can't touch this! You didn't even do have a heart of damage! Okay, I need to not- I need to not be cocky. I need to not be cocky. But really, what I need to do now- Okay, I know it was a very, very temporary run over here, but I need to go back, make another diamond spear, enchant with vampirism, and it doesn't actually matter that it, it's rusted, because I believe it takes the properties from the first one that you are, um, putting on the left side of the anvil. Also, though, I was looking- dude, vampirism, it only has two levels! So this is maximum vampirism. Oh my god. I need this to not have anything that conflicts with sharpness. Please. It does have something that conflicts with sharpness. Frick. I don't think it's gonna let me combine. Wait, it is gonna work? It is gonna work. It works. It worked. Oh, it just overwrote. Okay, it lets me and it just gets rid of the smite. <gasps> How much is it gonna cost? 20 worth. Worth every penny. Worth every penny. Um, actually, before I do this, though, I could I could use one level, because it's better to invest when you're at a high level into skills. Um, I might as well do a level in, in agility. There we go. There we go. And that should be good. I don't want to I don't want to overstretch it and then not have enough. Oh my god, and it's still legendary. It's still legendary. What an absolute unit this thing is. What if I tried entering this courtyard here? And also, uh, let's actually get an Aegis properly. Okay, aggressive, good, and... All right, man, let's go. Anybody home? Anybody home? Hello? And we Oh, we got a nymph in the courtyard too, which is pretty sweet. Come on in here, dude. Come on in here. Oh, that's where the mans are. There's still the XP lying on the ground. Yo, what up, dogs? Come on out, dude. Come on out. Let's go, Mr. Ages. Bring him out. Okay, I haven't taken any damage yet, so we're not gonna actually see what the vampirism does. I hope I can't accidentally attack my Yo, he took him out! Oh! What a what a legend. 
What a freaking legend. He's done. Oh, ow, I got hit. I got hit, but, but, okay, we're down half a heart. But no, wait, oh, that's the nymph regening me. Oh, the Aegis is taking him, dude. Huge, huge maneuvers. We're at level 12. Oh my God, come on. Okay, we got a party. We got a party coming out. Just open area, I prefer open areas. As long as there's no blights, we should be good. Done, done, done. You can't handle me. You can't handle me, dude. Let's go. Okay, oh, sorry, Aegis. I'm coming back for you, bud. Are you still here? Are you still here? Let's get rid of those vines. They're gonna obstruct us as we're trying to get out. Oh, Aegis, man, he's gone. He's gone. Oh, we got some mans over here, though. I feel like the higher we go here, probably the better loot is gonna be. He's just trying to why why me, dude. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Let's do that. Oh, God. I do like farming these boys. I do like that. Just, oh my god, it's just emeralds for days. Oh, there's a blight man's. I'm a little worried because the blight, the last one like yanked us back into the fray. So not a huge fan of that. Bro, this right though, like, we can just get level 30, level 30, level 30, or go over at level 30. And witches look so creepy with this resource back. Oh my god. You're gonna hit me from over there? You're crazy, dude. You're crazy. As long as I'm not being snow. Oh, okay, that's a lot of witches. That's a lot of Okay, that's <laughs> too it's too many witches. So many witches before Oh, okay, 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 okay. He's a little fast man. Oh god, I'm nauseous. At least I didn't get poisoned. You know, it was only at this point when editing that I remembered I have the Bezor, which is poison immunity to all poison. Not just spiders. Didn't need to be scared of the witches. I mean, I could just hit up the higher level. Uh, right on. Is there another, like, better place to enter here? I'm just a little bit worried about getting wrecked by witch. Oh my bro. This is, this, this is gear. Umbrium. That's probably good. Blazing. Glowstone dust? Oh, hi there, man. Okay, everything's, dude. Oh my god, I need to get the I need to get the levels. I gotta get the levels, bro. We just get levels for days. Hold up. Apparently, once you get inside here, the loot is insane. Freaking yapples, more bandages. Oh my god, silver. I'm just like hearing stuff, and I'm I'm kind of terrified. Lapis, uh, morphine. That's probably a good thing. Oh my god, dude. What do we got? We got some mans. I'm hearing mans. What am I supposed to do? I need to make more pit stops at home. There's like too much stuff to carry. Oh, hey, bud. I still haven't actually gotten to try out vampirism. Oh, you guys in the courtyard there now? Okay, we still got the witch. Oh my, what are you? What are that dog? What are those? Freaking fast mans. Oh, that was a blight. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're okay, actually, I've only lost half art. And now I can, I vamp, I vamped back up, bro. Whoa, where did they all come from? Oh my God. Just out of nowhere. The entire crew just shows up. Oh boy, but they can't hang hard crystals. How many we have four? Is that another one? Wait, 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 how many did I have? I had 13, so I had four, I need one more. And then I think I can make yet another. That must've dropped from the blight mans though. Come on, dude, come on. Oh, there's a lot of you mans on the other. Did they just climb up the vines or something? Any more mans? A little bit. This is, a, this is a lot of stuff in that room. A whole lot of stuff in that room. Oh, I just need like one more. One more heart crystal shard. <laughs> what are you guys doing? How did that even happen, bro? What? Oh, there's an underground area. Oh, the zombies are attacking the skeleton. Infighting. I love infight. Oh, freak. Oh, oh, there's zappy boys. Freaking zappy man. Oh, 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 okay. Fireballsy. Skeleton of lightning. Yikes. Okay, at least, um, here, Aegis? Aegis go, what the, oh, okay. That was some scary stuff right there. All right. Go, Aegis, go. And then, oh yeah, frick these boys up. Frick them up, dude. Send them into the blender of death. Let's go. Okay, can't accidentally hit it, which is good. Skelly of freaking zombie lightning ages takes him out. Come on. Okay, the only thing that education doesn't do is, oh my God, they're all just coming out of the basement. We got a party. Education does not give you additional levels from Blight Boys. Look at the ages go. He's popping off. He's an insane, he's insane. Actually, if he gets the last hits though, I don't get the education buff. 
Give me, give me, give me all the, I mean, give them to me, dude. Give me the level, Frick, freaking geese, freaking geese. Okay, I gotta, okay, okay, I gotta frick off. There we go, okay, now they're on fire and stuff, so. What are you, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You think, oh, oh, balls. How dare you? Whew. What was that? Oh, silver chest plate. That could be a good thing to get. What does it have on it? Magic prot. Uh, I don't know if that's gonna be really worth, but I guess when you go into lost cities, well, I don't know if we're ever gonna make it into lost cities, but supposedly if one were to go into lost cities, you need a set of silver armor because I guess like everything in there just applies crazy debuffs to you and silver armor prevents that from happening. Level 37. It just, it just keeps coming, dude. It just keeps coming. Is that a heart crystal? Yes. Come on. Monster maneuvers. Monstrous maneuvers. It's been a, it's been productive. This has been very productive. I want to go back home and maybe maybe enchant some more. Maybe try another bow enchant or something like that. And also we can. Got to be great to get unbreaking on this thing. But this thing is just oh what a what an omega weapon for us to have at this point. Okay, so we have enough levels for three max enchantments plus one refresh if we can't see anything we want at any point. I'm also tempted to try making nunchucks though. I was watching the video about ranking the top 30 enchantments for RL craft and the entirety of the video, the B-roll, is him just sweeping dungeons with dragon bone nunchucks, which we can't make, but we could make diamond nunchucks. And they were also recommended on the last video because they're continuous attack and also when they're swinging, you can be blocking at the same time. I'm doing it. It's cheap, it's cheap to make them. And so here I'm gonna block and then Okay, oh, there we go. And see, it just swings. You can block and swing at the same time. I like how it animates in your hotbar as well. It, it could be interesting, but again, it's not gonna get us as much experience unless we can pull like an education three on it. What is it showing here? Fling two. There's only two levels in agility. Maybe I should just do it. It's a max, it is a max enchantment. And we do like max enchantments, plus who knows what else it grants us and we can combine it with protection four. I'm tempted and all right. Let's see. Oh, I have so many things to enchant. And then we'll see what it cycles to on the nunchucks after. Agility, unbreaking three, physical protection. I probably can't stack that with protection, which is the only bummer. Reduces damage taken from melee attacks. Be good for me, be good for me. Burning thorns, magic, I don't think I can, I gotta check actually. I gotta check what I'm allowed to combine here. That's gonna be the way. Okay, we can combine these just fine. Okay, good, good, good. We can keep the prot, we can go on breaking three, and agility, perfect, I love this. So nothing is tempting me right now. It's okay, we can do one, okay, one recycle. Sharpshooter one, and now we can try everything once more. Advanced Bane. You're really wanting me to be tackling spiders here, okay. I'll just do lightweight, I'm just gonna do it. Hopefully it's not a, a, a terrible thing to do. Maybe it's just the way, okay, something good, something good. Blast prot four, lightweight, okay, just ignore the... Ignore the blast prot, that's not happening. And then I could use some levels to rank up a bow or I could just, let's see if we have advanced fire aspect. I mean, advanced, still advanced Bane. Propulsion, sounds crazy. Uh, un oh, unbreaky three, dude. Now that's what I could use. Let's see what we got here. We're gonna be doing all this. Oh, so many things to do. So prop four plus that, that's gonna cost 12. Uh, let's do the, oh man. That's crazy. What about, uh, okay, so your tent, let's, I think we'll keep the fire prot for now. And then we'll be able to, have, yep, okay, so that's gonna, no, my anvil, frick. <laughs> okay, you still make anvils the same way. I was like, wait a minute, am I misremembering? Hey, and now I can have this inside, so it's, it is all better, it's better anyway. Okay, what is that? That doesn't work, and it has to be this way, and then it's freaking 18, are you kidding me right now? Frick, I'm gonna have to do that after the fact, it's fine. I can just, I'll go back, and I am gonna be back up in a jiffy to where I need to be. And now, let's just get that extra heart and we can just keep on farming, bro, and we're, we're gonna pop off. I brought my anvil along so that when we get up to 18 levels, then we can combine these pants without worrying about things. Oh, look at all this, it's just, it's just chilling. It's just chilling. Hey man, how's it going, dude? You're not ready, you're not ready. You can't handle me. Okay, here, I was thinking, I was thinking, I can just block this off, right? And then that way I can focus on the witches at, at some point in the future when I want to without having to worry about them flanking on me. And in the meantime, I can frick these boys up, focus them, and then it's gonna be awesome. Let's go, give me that XP farm, dude. You'll love to see it. I'll take that bandage too, I love those bandages. Yo, 18? That was so fast. It was so fast. Okay, quick, 
quick takeoff. Still got prop four. Yep, agility on breaky three. We we pop off, we pop off. It's huge plays. Get wrecked, get wrecked. Get demolished. Oh, hey, it's another, it's, oh, frick, hi there. Prep, he done. Okay, dude, big maneuvers. Holy anvils, let's go, dude, let's go. Are those, hey, those are perfectly, perfectly solid, clean anvils, too. Just a handful of witches. Just just a handful. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know if there's a good way to like tackle that without oh boy. Hi there. Without there being a bit of a freak. You discover the banshee and add notes to your bestiary. I've drawn in chaotic energy. Right? It's only a little scary. Only only a little minorly scary. I feel like there's some mans down here. Most like oh, that's a man's. I thought that was just a freaking armor stand, dude. It's a blight boy. Cloaking Weber. Oh God, hi there. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, that's some mans, that's some freaking mans in there. We got the vamp though, we got the vamp. We got the vamp. So we're good, dude, we're freaking good. What is that, what kind of bow is that? A multi-shot, multi-shot's good actually. Okay, they're all fighting each other, which is nice. Many, many, many mans? Uh, they are all fighting each other, so I mean, it's like that's cool, but otherwise, ooh wee. Ooh wee. You know, I wonder if it would be a good idea to like back off a bit. <laughs> I just, I'm getting less frames. There's clearly like a lot of mobs spawning in here. And I could in theory, like I could back off and then, oh God, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get whacked with a potion. What did I just get hit by? Oh, I have, hypo I have hypothermia. Oh God, it's like super winter, super ultra winter. I don't like it. Um, I need, lo oh my God, everything's completely frozen over. Frick. Wait, frick, I need like fire or something? Oh my God, I'm getting, I'm getting doo-doo done. Wait, this is not cool. I need lava, I need the desert. I need the, I did not think this was gonna be my biggest enemy. The, I don't have the, the, the chilling stuff. I guess I could make warm liner, but then my stuff is gonna be like way, way too hot. You know what? We've been putting a lot of focus into that one particular thing for a bit of variety. I mean, why don't we head to the, the desert? And now we should be able to run around the desert without worrying about hyperthermia, at least because it seems like we're, we're just at normal temps. So maybe this is the perfect time to check out some other stuff over here. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on just a sec. Is Oh no, that's not, I thought it was a fossil. I thought it was a skeleton. That's a living dude, bro. Okie dokie boys, don't want that yet. Nope, not ready, not ready. Six. Eight, who do we appreciate? Not you, not you doing that. I really wish you wouldn't. How much health did, he just stays out of range of my melee because he knows, yeah! He knows he can't handle my melee. What is that, Aether Wave Charge? You discover the Sylph, okay. okay I just gotta, I gotta keep him contained. I'm on fire! It doesn't look like something that would light me on fire. It, that's not, that's not what I was expecting. It's not what I was expecting out of it at all. Got him, got him, got him, got him. Can't handle this, can't handle me. Can't handle, oh God, club can't even handle me right now. Do not wish to set off TNT. Um, okay, basically just vanilla goods for the most part, but uh, crafting rune, maybe that's something, I don't know. Buried treasure, you know what, should we try to find buried treasure? I've, I've kind of ignored the buried treasure that I've just had sitting for absolutely ages, so let's do, cooling goo. S actually, yeah, that's not what we need right now, but um, still cool. The only issue is that the <laughs> buried treasure it may lead us to a place where it's cold again. So, ooh, oh, oh, level freaking two, mans. Okay, they're just, this is just a spawn zone for them, I guess. Um, you know what, I can just leave out over here. Go, go, go at them. Yeah, dude, let's go, take them out. I got this, I got this, dude. They have no chance, bro, not a chance, not a single freaking chance, dude. Getting destroyed, absolutely destroyed, come on. Let's see where this buried treasure is. I have to imagine it's not super duper far. Okay, so, right. This is, um, it's, nope, don't have the compass. It is over yonder, I, I think. Oh God, I hope so. Is it? Please tell me it's, cause, okay. So if I go this way, I'm going down on the map. Good, so that means, yes, this is the way. Hold on, just a moment. Yeah, no, I don't, mm, mm I'm thinking that's, that's not, I'm thinking that's not the way, but, but maybe, but maybe I could kind of thread the needle here as I get back into the place where it's freaking super cold. 
kind of like right, right here. There's no like X marks a spot or anything. It just, you kind of have to dig, I guess. I'm going to regret sticking here. Trying to, yo, we got it. Okay, that is, um, uh, underwhelming. <laughs> underwhelming, but we found it. Yar. We found the buried treasure. I could go up here. Okay, we're not actually getting hypothermia. We're just, we're just, uh, we're just tickling the, ver we're getting hypothermia. <laughs> Great. Okay, this sucks, man. Frick. Stupid weather. SMH my head. Oh, look at, th look at this over here, though, actually. Hey, Craig. Bet you think you're tough? Yeah, one hit, bro. One shot. Bull sex. No, 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 no. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, G Jiminy Christmas. Okay, bit of lag, bit of lag. Dragon lag. No, nah, dog, I'm good. I'm good. I'm, I'm not, I don't want to mess with that. I was thinking I was going to check out, maybe like mine into the backside of that thing, and then I was like, ah, oh, that dragon's a little close for comfort. I'm good. Good. I hate it. I don't want to put lava down in my house and it's gonna burn down. Warm me up, furnace, please. Brr, I'm so cold. Also, liners. I don't I don't have enough to make warm liners. So one blaze rod goes to four heating goos, and that would be enough for boots, I guess. Maybe you're not warm. I frick, dude, warm me up. Oh my god, this is so terrible, dude. I have to get a little bit warmer standing next to the lava. Run back inside, craft a couple warm liners. Holy heck, this is nasty. I, I'm gonna, I gotta just do heating goos on everything. Heating goos on everything. Chest plate's probably a good call. Let's just, yeah. And then, oh no, but if I do chest plate, then that's all I, oh no, I can do chest plate and I could do boots. And then I think if I just combine with chest plate, then I get, yes, chest plate with warm lining. And then can I get it off? I hope. Tell me I can get the warm liner off. I, please tell me I can get the warm liner off. Otherwise, I'm going to be very sad. Bro, I'm like freaking back to hypothermic. And I, I got a warm liner on the chest plate. Okay, let me lose freaking boots. Boots. Okay. Um, wait, wait, wait. I need to make yeah, two more. And we get warm boots. Tell me this is enough. Tell me this is enough. Oh, my lord. Oh, my god. It's mean. It's just so mean. Am I okay? Am I going to be okay when I step away from the lava? I'm still... Getting hypothermic! Oh god, do I need warm liners on everything to withstand the winter in my house? I'm doomed. I'm absolutely doomed. I can't do anything other than I'm still getting colder! Bruh! Guys, I am I am miserable right now. I can't do anything. This is awful. What the frick? Why is winter? 10 times worse than summer. I can't go in my house. I freeze. I, I I need to get blaze rods. Do I have to go into the desert, into the roguelike dungeon and hope that I find blaze rods? And that's like my only hope. Otherwise I have to live next to this for forever. I'm at an impasse, ladies and gentlemen. Who knew the cold was going to be the thing that destroys me? Not any mob, the cold. Well, that's it everybody for this episode of RL Craft. We've reached our hardest enemy yet. So I'm open to your input and figuring out a frick to deal with it. Make sure to like the video if you've enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for more episodes of RL Craft. Hit the bell, turn on notifications, check the playlist if you've missed any episodes. And that's all. Go to qualitycontent.com for clothes that could keep you warm.